basically did like the pre-flight inspection. That I normally would do. And since the bike seemed to check out, he even offered to let me ride it a bit. I said, you know, I take my MSF and I, have, I actually do have a motorcycle license, an M1, but I've never ridden a day in my life, so outside of the class. And he said, you know, if you really want to ride it, you know, go ahead. But uh, just don't drop it. And I said, no, nope, I'm not going to test ride it. You can test ride it for me. And I, see, I can just see you riding around, but make sure it works. So yeah, I really did not want to ride all the way home. It was, I think it was close to about a, a 20 mile ride from his area to my area. Now the second time I uh, went out and bought a used bike, I had a friend from work drive me out there. And uh, I'd already looked at the bike. It was in pristine condition. That F4i was literally totally in mint condition, hardly ever ridden by anyone. The guy didn't have time to ride it anymore. He'd only put 5,000 miles on it in, uh, in the space of five years, which is nothing. So that was pretty straightforward. I mean, it, it was obviously an excellent bike. In that, in that case, that guy was just moving back and he didn't want to deal with the hassle of shipping the bike back to where the, to the east coast that he was moving back. So there's a lot of good deals to be found on Craigslist. There's a few scammers, of course, but you know, until you hand over the money, it's not a big deal. If you go and find out, oh yeah, this is bullshit, well, then no big deal. You have, as long as you haven't handed over any money. So I would strongly recommend you always buy a used bike rather than paying for a brand new one. Most people don't, who are selling their bikes haven't ridden their bikes that much anyway. So, you're going to get a good deal most of the time. I think I got a pretty good deal on the Ninja and the CBR. I mean, they're a little, they were a little bit expensive. Quite a little bit overpriced, but it wasn't so bad that I couldn't handle it. And I really did want the yellow, because yellow is faster. You tell all your friends that. I think the, uh, the silver F4i was like 5800 which is pretty damn... I think that's actually kind of crazy overpriced actually. 5800 for an F4i, but it was in beautiful condition. But now that I've been riding it for a while, it's uh, not in good condition. I guess I should close off the choke. I just remembered, there's no, I need gas for this bike. Shit. Better do that before it sputters and dies. I've never had to use the reserve on my bike. I usually refuel about every uh, 100 miles just to be on the safe side, even though it probably has a range of like 160 miles on a full tank. Uh, came with some one of the previous owners had put on these convex mirrors. It's really neat because I'm the fourth owner of this bike, so these uh, ninjas do change hands quite a bit. 
convex mirrors are a nice touch. Just an extra wide angle off of them. Slightly warming up. I am sweating a little. Other than that, it's a beautiful day to be riding. I got the uh, 600F where I have a friend drop me off and then uh, he basically followed me all the way back in case I wrecked. And of course, the best part was he has a, a large pickup truck that is capable of carrying a bike or two. So that was handy. He's also to carry the uh, the El Chipo swing arm stand and fork stands that the previous owner of the CBR had thrown for free. Ninja 250 is a great bike to start on. After all of like two months, I went on that crazy uh, thousand mile, two day, thousand, one thousand three hundred mile, two day trip. So the rate of learning on this bike is pretty fast, which is why it's a good bike to get. I really don't recommend a 600 Super Sport as your first bike. I'm going to drop it for one thing, in all likelihood. Just a bad idea. Feed me, feed me. Alright, shut her down for now.